wanna fight as I'm hearing As soon as we were peerings I wanna pat them to now Do get you ready for patterns I wanna pull in my garden Nine is running after babies I want the sun shine in the winter So I can keep my hair color Welcome to another vlog. So we are here in Paris for two days. I'm so excited to be here because I have not been to Paris since I've been blogging. I don't think I've been for about five years. So I'm really excited to explore. And um, yeah, it was an early start this morning. We met the girls at the Eurostar. We've just arrived at our beautiful hotel. We're staying at the Hotel Bachon. I think that's how it's called. And uh, we've got a really beautiful room. You can see behind me. And then there's a really cute little bathroom through here as well um oh it's like a big round circle really cute little bathroom i've got a terrace out here so we just had a really lovely lunch down in the hotel restaurant and now i've got a few minutes to get changed top up my makeup before we go exploring gonna go and see the beautiful sights of Paris. I'm here with lots of the girls. It's gonna be really nice to do some proper catching up and then we've got a spa day tomorrow, a bit of shopping. So it's gonna be a really lovely couple of days. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. Outfit of the day, as you guys have just seen, I'm still totally obsessed with this Reese Gilet. So this is the one that I got in the sale. I think you guys really liked it as well. And yeah, I'm just totally in love with this gorgeous color. And then I'm wearing my skirt, which is this beautiful wool material. I think you guys saw me trying this on in vlog. Um, it's from Club Monaco. This Jaeger jumper with these gorgeous like billowing sleeves. It's a really beautiful ooh, effect you can create with the sleeves. And then I'm wearing my gorgeous H&M boots, Gucci bag, and my jewelry is from Claire's Accessories. So I've got these gorgeous rings. You would not know that these were like, I think they were about seven pounds for the cluster. And then my headband, I totally feel like something out of Gossip Girl wearing this. Um, and these gorgeous earrings as well, which I love. They've got the stud on one side and then the pearl on the other. This is what I've been wearing for all day getting here though. So I'm gonna have a quick look in my suitcase. You probably recognize this from my what I got for Christmas video. Um, yeah, just gonna quickly unpack a little, get changed and then head down to meet the girls. Notre Dame, you can see behind me, which is a very famous cathedral. It's absolutely bitterly cold here today. The lady that met us on the Eurostar said it was going to be minus eight. At the moment, I think it's just minus two. Um, but I have got a lot of layers on, lots of thermals, as you can probably imagine, new thermal tights. So it's not doing too badly. But we are so lucky. Look at this beautiful sunshine. Could not have wished for a more beautiful day. Next stop, we're actually gonna go to the Claire's Accessories flagship here in Paris going to pick up a few new accessories. I'm definitely keen to get some gloves, get some earmuffs and a couple more, maybe some bracelets. So let's go. Now that beautiful time of day, golden hour, we have the most beautiful light and we've come to, what's the official name, a Musée de l'Armée. So I'm guessing that's like the army museum, my very limited knowledge of French. But this place is really clever. What they've done is they're obviously doing some construction work on the front and they've put an image, um, don't know if you can see it, 
That bit in the middle is actually scaffolding with like a painting on it, or not a painting. It's basically got the design on it, so it looks like the real building. But actually, it's scaffolding. Very clever. Look at this light. So stunning. game for today is over I've got the Uniqlo thermal on because it is so cold as in there are so many different types of cold but this is bitter ice cold I've even taken my gloves off to take some photos but oh my goodness I needed to put this thermal on these are the best things I've ever bought oh apparently we're leaving we're going I think our next stop is the Eiffel Tower so excited to go see Eiffel Tower and then hopefully get a hot chocolate afterwards or a coffee anything to warm the cockles When you just came home, baby She said she was a little bit crazy iconic thing all around the world and it's so lovely to be here but that does mean that it's uh although that does mean that the temperatures are dropping and by the second so we are going to head up to the viewing platform which is where everybody takes those gorgeous photos and when you're this close to it you can't really grasp the full amazingness of it so we're going to go up to the platform hopefully we'll get some really beautiful shots there and uh, then we're going to head to the Louvre, go to a cafe, warm ourselves up because we are absolutely frozen. I'm so grateful for these little gloves. <laughs> but still, we need warming up, we need a coffee, and we need it fast. somewhere a little bit warmer we're all feeling pretty darn numb we're about to drive under the eiffel tower so have a little look at this behind us here and had a bit of uh, a relax, a catch up on our emails, editing and uploading some Instagram photos and um, yeah just warmed ourselves up a little bit. So we're here at the beautiful Louvre Museum now, although we're not going in, we're not spending too much time here, um, we're actually going to head back to the hotel because we've got dinner tonight at 8 o'clock and we all just want to have a little bit of downtime before that. So I think it's back to the hotel now, um, so I'll catch up with you guys when I'm there get changed, spruce up a little bit, and then we're heading out for dinner. Back at the hotel in the warmth and coziness of our hotel rooms, which I'm quite grateful for. Got an hour now just to chill and get ready for dinner. I'm just going to catch up on a few emails. I'm gonna unpack a little bit, but obviously it's just a one-nighter, so I'm not gonna properly unpack. Just get some stuff out ready for tomorrow morning. Um, before I get unchanged, I wanna show you my outfit, because I feel like I didn't get to show you these sleeves properly. Let me show you in the mirror. So this is the top that if you guys follow me on Twitter you might have seen me tweeting about this because I just think it's so gorgeous, so Instagrammable. How amazing are these sleeves? 
I just love it. And then I'm wearing a little skirt too. It's actually a bit too big for me. Um, but yeah, really, really cute. And then I wore my jacket over the top, which I think you guys saw. This is River Island, but as with everything, I'll leave links down below so you can shop if you want to. Sunglasses, and then my earrings. These are the same ones I was wearing earlier from Claire's Accessories. My bracelet, I picked this one up in the Claire's Accessories store. In fact, let me show you what else I got in the shop. So here's some of the other bits that I got from Claire's earlier. Picked up some eyelashes to wear tonight. I didn't even realise they had eyelier lashes in there, but these are the natural ones, so they should be really lovely. This is an applicator tool as well, which I'm quite intrigued to try. Normally I just get my fingers all in the way, so that should help me out a little bit. I got these sleeveless gloves. Looks like I got a bit of chocolate on one of them. Um, sleeveless fingerless gloves. I think they're actually children's, but they're so, you know, they're this really stretchy material. So actually, I'm trying to make it not inside out, but it's not working. Um, yeah, these were a lifesaver today and great that they are fingerless, because obviously I can then use my phone. Got some washi tape, I really like using this when I'm doing anything like packaging anything up um, and it just makes my stationery look really cute so I grabbed that. I got a couple of bracelets, these ones are just really cute for stacking, this one's got the little sparkles in it and then the floral detail, this one's got a moon and a star, I really like that, I think I'm going to wear this one tonight. Um, I thought I got another bracelet too, um, it'll turn up I'm sure. These rings I got are absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see this. Will it focus? So this ring is, let's see, this was only uh, just under 10 euros. So I'd say that's probably going to be around the 10 pound mark as well. Exchange rate always fluctuating. But how gorgeous does that look? Like you could tell someone this was a diamond engagement ring and they would probably believe you. It's so sparkly. It's actually, is it cubic zirconia? Yeah. Um, and then this one's the same with little gems around the outside too. I just think they're so beautiful. I might add it to my little ring stack. I've got my rings from Claire's Accessories on today as well. Also, I picked up this ring with this gorgeous bow on it. Just really beautiful, um, very simple, feminine, chic. And I've got another pair of earrings, quite similar style to the one I'm wearing today. I really like this larger back detail. And then this is a beautiful necklace really gorgeous classic design and all of these just such good value so really nice to have a little Claire's accessories haul and I also grabbed this hair clip because we're going to the spa tomorrow and I probably won't be bothering to wash my hair so this means I'll just be able to pile it all up in a bun. So I'm going to get some work done now and then uh, get changed ready for dinner and I'll catch up with you guys shortly. Okay it's about 45 minutes later since I last spoke to you. I've done some work and I've got changed. You may recognise this jumper dress because it's pretty much the dress version of the top I was wearing earlier. So yeah this one's from River Island as well. You've got this amazing sleeve detail again which I love just topped up my makeup as well. I'm really getting back into using MAC lipsticks at the moment. The one I'm wearing tonight is, um, where did I put it? One moment, please. This one, which is uh, Velvet Teddy, which I feel like is just an absolute classic. I'll show you my outfit from the mirror and then we'll head downstairs. So yeah, pretty much um, just a plain black dress. You've got these fabulous trumpet sleeves. I feel like this mirror is really flattering. I like this mirror. Um, yeah, I just love this sleeve detail so much. I feel like it's so wearable and yet still so fashionable. Gonna look really nice with my, oh, oops. Gonna look really nice with my Gucci bag going down that black and white vibe. And then accessory wise, in my hair, I've got my Gossip Girl headband in like I had in earlier. And oh, I just absolutely love it so much. And personally, for someone like me that loves having my hair off my face, but still likes having it down, I just feel like we need to bring hair bands back. Not that they're out of fashion, but I feel like they need a proper revival. Then I'm wearing a choker, and I know chokers have been in style for quite some time, but I was yet to try one, and I tried this one on in store today in Claire's, and I loved it. So I've got this one on. Earrings, I just did a little switch. They are similar to the ones I was wearing before but more with like crystals in the bottoms. And then I have got the moon star and crystal bracelet on, which seems to only want to focus in the mirror. But there we go. So let's go downstairs, catch up with the girls and head out for dinner. <laughs> at the restaurant. 
restaurant, which would have been a five minute walk from the hotel, but because it's so blimmin' cold tonight, we got an Uber. Um, it's called Derriere, which I find really funny, but no one else seems to find it funny, so maybe it's me. Does anyone else call their bum their Derriere? After a fabulous dinner, the food was so delicious. The restaurant <laughs> called Daria was really, really lovely. We ate up in this kind of private dining room and we had a buffet style dinner so you could just kind of help yourself to the food in the middle of the table. It was all absolutely delicious. I was so full, I couldn't even eat like a third of my main course. So luckily I just took a little bit from the buffet. Back at the hotel now, I'm gonna take my makeup off and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and get a fairly early night. It is just coming up to 11 o'clock Parisian time, so 10 o'clock UK time. Um, so yeah, I think I deserve an early night. I didn't get much sleep last night. So to take my makeup off, I'm gonna start by using an Estee Lauder face wipe. I don't usually use face wipes that often, but I'm using these, um, just kind of trialing them out because they're new. And then I'm gonna use my cleansing water just so that it's a bit more of a double cleanse, should be a bit more thorough. Then I'm going to try out for the first time, this is a new Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, it's their oil in formula. And this is launching this month but I'm really intrigued to give it a go so I'm going to try that tonight. And then this I just love to use while I'm travelling, it's a little Darfan um, Rose Aromatic Oil. And my skin just loves oils just full stop but especially when I'm travelling I find that it just really helps to rehydrate and nourish your skin so that's going to be my... Um, travel skincare routine for the night. Okay, I'm out the shower now and into my pyjamas. I'm gonna try the new Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. So let's give this a go. Consistency wise, it seems to be quite a lot um, thinner than the old Advanced Night Repair which is strange considering it's got an oil in. So I've put about four drops in there. Don't wanna get any on my pajamas. Oh, feels very similar to the old one actually. Oh yeah, that feels really nice. Really doesn't feel that different at all to the previous advanced night repair. I guess it's just one of those where oil is a little bit of an added ingredient. Um, if your skin likes oil like mine does, then maybe a nice addition to your nighttime routine. And then just finishing with a proper oil, the Darfan Rose Aromatic Oil. Two drops of that. My face smells like a rose garden. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sign out now, guys. So I hope you enjoyed coming around Paris with me today. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna go and search for a cute little cafe, get some more nice city shots and then we're heading to the spa so it should be another really lovely day so i will see you in the morning Bye -bye. good morning it is about half past eight on a very chilly Parisian morning. I'm with this one and Hi. we are looking for some Instagram opportunities. <laughs> Distracted momentarily by a cute dog in front of us. Uh, so this is the real life of a blogger going out of your way <laughs> super early in freezing cold foreign countries to try and find beautiful places to get that shot. Dedication guys. <laughs> this is what I love about Paris. Everywhere I look right now is fabulous. Behind me, behind us, look at this building. Oh, so beautiful. And on the other side, it's like rivaling Buckingham Palace, this place. Oh, and I think where we're headed next, we're going to be walking past the Louvre, 
We're basically heading to the Lagerie on Bonaparte, Rue de Bonaparte, probably butchered that. We're gonna try and get some cliche macaroon photos. Woohoo! a beautiful bridge and to my left is just the most spectacular view I'm sure some of you guys watching this will know what these buildings are but I don't sadly but they are just absolutely stunning buildings behind me and then down there we've got a beautiful uh, dome it looks a little bit like St Paul's but I think it might be part of the Louvre but I may be wrong I need to learn a lot more about this city and then behind me on my right now on my left is the Eiffel Tower way over there can you see it just there and it's just the most beautiful light. The sky is like this gorgeous pinky blue colour. It is absolutely freezing. Thank God I've got my thermal on. Um, but any bloggers watching, if you want to come to Paris and take Instagram photos, 8.30 in the morning, that's the time. There's hardly anyone here. Look, Becca's down there. Pretty much feel like we have the city to ourselves. <laughs> Again, and we're en route to the spa. It's gonna be such a lovely day. The sun is shining. Look at that gorgeous lighting. I was just saying to the girls, I'm in the taxi with the girls. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we were just saying that the lighting in Paris is so pretty. It's like constantly this golden pinky light, which as you can imagine, I love. Um, oh, I think we're here actually. So we're spending the morning at a place called Ken Club and uh, morning and afternoon. I think first off we've got an hour or so to chill in the spa. There's a beautiful pool area and then we're going to have some individual treatments. We can have a massage or a facial. I think I'm going to get a massage because my shoulders are always a little bit tight. And then um, got lunch and then we've got yoga. So I'm excited to take you along with me. <laughs> It is a little while since her last vlog. Sorry, that was really high pitch. Um, but I just had a fabulous massage, full body massage, um, and it was absolutely delightful. The girl was really super. And then we had lunch. We're in this little kind of boothy area. And we had a really nice lunch. I had chicken and pasta. Uh, the girls had like salads and uh, spag bol. Yeah, so it was really nice. I'm now just cracking on with a little bit of work, surprise, surprise, and we're gonna do yoga in about 45 minutes. So just having a cup of coffee, catching up with some work, and yeah, I will um, do a little bit of hyperlapse laps in yoga perhaps.
on the Eurostar. I'm just editing a vlog, or I was, but my battery has now died. Um, so we've had the most fabulous two days. It really is worth going all the way to Paris, all the way to Paris just for one night. I feel like we've got a lot packed in. Um, so I'm going to sign out now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. A thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Yeah, but you may as well. Um, as with all my videos, I'll leave everything that I wore um, and as much detail as possible.